Metro Water Services is a large utility with large drinking water, wastewater, storm water, and solid waste utility. We serve the citizens of Nashville and Davidson County. We are at the Central Water Reclamation Facility. It's a 330 million gallon per day uh, wastewater treatment plant and it accepts wastewater flow from the immediate downtown Nashville area and surrounding areas as far away as Nolensville, Tennessee. Metro Water Services is under a consent decree, which is an agreement between the government of Nashville and Davidson County and the U.S. Department of Justice. And what that agreement is, is that Nashville commits to doing certain things to our sewer system to reduce overflows from the sanitary and combined sewer systems. And to meet that, the Central Water Reclamation Facility Improvements Project is part of that solution set. Our project started with an optimization study that really uh, that evaluated all the existing treatment processes and looked to see if we could find some additional capacity to cost effectively upgrade the plant. The main goal of the Central Water Reclamation Facility project as it relates to combined sewer overflows was to put more flow through our existing plant by pulling it off of those combined sewers and we were able to add roughly 100 million gallons a day of treatment capacity to our existing tankage by using newer technologies, adding instrumentation, and combined those made our processes more stable and consistent. One of the most important upgrades to this facility is the UV disinfection facility where we're standing now. The UV disinfection facility uses ultraviolet light to inactivate the pathogens as opposed to using chemicals to kill the pathogens before it's discharged into the river. The benefits of UV technology are, one, it's safer for our employees, uh, two, it's safer for the community, and it's a much inherent safer technology for disinfection. A further highlight of this project are the secondary clarifier improvements. The secondary clarifier improvements combined with the aeration improvements allow Metro to put out an even higher quality effluent to the Cumberland River. Our aeration tanks treat the wastewater by mixing the organic matter and our microorganisms. Those microorganisms use dissolved oxygen to stay healthy and we really want them to eat that organic matter as well as reproduce. One of the main things we hoped to achieve with the plant improvements was ease of operation uh, to make the plant more operator friendly, more user friendly for our day-to-day -day technicians, but also to um, optimize our individual processes to make them more efficient in what they do. When designing uh, treatment plants with operators in mind, it's very helpful for keeping that system maintained. And if you keep that main system maintained, then you keep the facility in compliance. What I enjoy about training uh, new operators is first watching their amazement on how complicated wastewater facilities are and watching them come from amazement to now I can do this and I can keep our waterways clean. This project is important to me because we were able to increase the capacity of the central plant and improve the operability, maintainability, and overall reliability of the treatment plant without building additional unit processes. That's sustainable and that's a very responsible way for Metro to spend its customers' money.